Our YouTube said we are back, of course, to talk about some Final Fantasy VII Remake. And today we have something that is admittedly a bit smaller, but it is yet another thing that's somewhat building hype for Tokyo Game Show and maybe, possibly, something Remake related to be in there. Or at the very least something like FF7 related, which we already know, like, you know, First Soldier is going to be there, but maybe there'll be something for Ever Crisis, but hopefully maybe something for Remake. So what it is, is the Square Enix music page sent out this tweet, which is a video of Nobuo Uematsu, the, the goddamn legend, the goat himself. Now the tweet itself, auto-translated roughly from Google, of course, says, Hashtag TGS 2021 Distribution Program Introduction. What kind of holiday is the creator of Final Fantasy Music spending? Scheduled to be delivered from 1415 on Saturday, October 2nd. And here they quote Debu Uematsu and says, I heard that Yami Bito is popular. A talk show that gives a glimpse of the unexpected side of Nobuo Uematsu, nostalgic episodes of the Square era. And I had to look up what Yama Bito, or however you say that is, and essentially it is mountain people, which when you watch the video that they tweet out, it was essentially what we're seeing Uematsu doing. Like he's up in a cabin somewhere, looks like he's up in the mountains, chopping his own wood, like making a campfire and stuff, maybe making his own coffee or something. Can't quite tell what that is that he's doing in the video. But essentially living the mountain man life. This is something that I wasn't even aware I was desperate for, my dudes. Aside from what we're going to talk about in this video, what the point of the video is supposed to be, like, you're telling me that we're going to get, like, a video at Tokyo Game Show of what this guy does in his free time when he's on a holiday up in the mountains just chilling, vibing. This is his process. This is the guy that's made some of the most iconic in music in all of gaming. Yes, absolutely, more of this. Please put it directly into my veins. Like, this dude has made so much music that has impacted my life. And you guys know this, too. If you're Final Fantasy fans, you've probably played a good handful, if not most, of the Final Fantasy games. You've heard the guy's music, right? He's worked on, like, every Final Fantasy from, like, 1 all the way to 12. And then, on, looking at his wiki, I don't think he worked on 13, but he also worked on, like, 15 and 14 and stuff. Like, he's worked on, and some of the branch off games, like Tactics Advance and, and shit like that. Like, he's worked on so many of the Final Fantasy games. Dude. It's insane. He's worked on other games, too, outside of the Final Fantasy series, but I just know him. Mostly for Final Fantasy. So yeah, absolutely, I want to see what this guy does in his free time, dude. Like, give me a video package of the guy going grocery shopping. What does this guy eat? Like, that's part of his process, too. I need to know. Give me that. I'm probably more excited for this now that I've actually started recording and talking about it than I am what we're supposed to be talking about with this video. So anyways, this shit aside, they tweet out this video, but what's interesting that's accompanying this video is the music that's playing in the background. Now here's the thing, I've said this before here on the channel, I'm not the music guy when it comes to Final Fantasy. I know the songs from the games, but I couldn't tell you like a lot of times where you hear the song or the name of the song. Definitely not the name. I don't like know soundtracks and shit like that. But of course if you played Final Fantasy 7, that is the song that plays, for the first time at least, in Calm. And when I say played for the first time in Calm is because On Our Way is played a couple of times throughout the FF7 story, depending on like events that have taken place, how far you are in the story, stuff like that. Also, by the way, I've seen it titled two different things. I've seen it titled Ahead On Our Way and just On Our Way. I don't know what the proper title is for the song, but the Calm theme song, essentially. So why this is interesting at all and maybe worth talking about is, for one, of course, it's related to Final Fantasy VII. We're getting this like video package of Nobuo Uematsu. He's going to be talking about like the, the Square Enix era when he used to work for Square Enix and stuff like that back in the day, or whatever else he's going to talk about within that video. But they're playing a Final Fantasy VII song in the background, so of course that's like, you know, that's got people talking, people interested. Tokyo Game Show FF7. But also it's a very specific song for Remake itself, actually, when you think about it. When you think about the Final Fantasy VII Remake story so far, where we're at, the very last thing we've seen our characters doing, the main cast is getting dropped off right outside the outskirts of Calm, right? They, they, We see them walking the Midgar Wasteland, eventually catching a ride with Chocobo Bill, and getting dropped off right near Calm. So this song, On Our Way, whether it's the original FF7 version, if they want to put that into Remake Part 2, or the Remake version, because there was a version of that song within the Remake soundtrack, there's a very real possibility that On Our Way is the very first piece of music that we're going to hear when it comes to Remake Part 2. It just kind of depends on how they... Handle the opening. Like, are we already going to be in the midst of the Nibelheim incident flashback? Like, are we already Cloud and Sephiroth in the back of the truck on the way to Nibelheim? Or are we going to get, like, a cutscene at the beginning of our characters, like, finishing the walk into Calm or, you know, walking into, like, the entrance of Calm or something like that? And if that is the case, that's it's the latter, then On Our Way is almost guaranteed to be the first piece of music that we're going to hear when it comes to Remake Part 2. So it's just very intriguing to me when I learned and it was pointed out to me on, on this Reddit post that I've linked in the description below 
that this was the song for Kong. Like, I knew the song, obviously, but I just couldn't pinpoint off the top of my head where it's from. I know we have a habit of, like, looking way too much into stuff here on the channel, but I love doing that. It's just fun and interesting to me. And I'm not trying to do that too much here because it is just a piece of music in the background of a video. But, I mean, they could have chose literally any song from 30-plus years of Final Fantasy games, right? It could have been anything. It could have been any other Final Fantasy game, and it could have been any other Final Fantasy song from Final Fantasy VII. But they chose a very specific song, man, that pertains very heavily to Remake Part Two. It's just very interesting. It is important to point out, by the way, that it is the Final Fantasy VII version of that song. The original FF7 on our way, not the remake version, at least to my ear. Now, a couple reasons why they could have chose this song for this specific video is that, for one, it just kind of fits, man. It's just Uematsu just chilling and vibing. It's a very relaxing song. It's very nostalgic for me as somebody who grew up playing the shit out of FF7. Also, it's a Final Fantasy VII song, which is, you know, debatably the most popular Final Fantasy game. I know it is, like, in the eyes of most people, but I don't think it's, like, the best-selling, which would technically make it not the most popular. But as a franchise, most people know shit about Final Fantasy VII. So it's a piece of music that might catch a lot of people's ear. And lastly, it could be also, like, a nudge and a wink because of the title. The title is, of course, On Our Way, and it's hyping up uh, Tokyo Game Show where they're going to show this video at. So maybe it's, like, a On Our Way to Tokyo Game Show type of thing. It could be that. I don't know. Anyways, but dudes, that is more or less the video. At the very least, it's an interesting thought piece, I guess, so to speak. It's an interesting discussion, something to think about. Whether or not the song in the background of a fucking Twitter video has any meaning at all, it of course remains to be seen. But at the very least, I'm excited to watch this video and whatever this dude wants to talk about. I don't care. He could just sit in front of a camera and talk about his daily morning routine and I'm going to be absolutely enthralled. Tokyo Game Show 2021 is in just a couple of days, my dudes. The hype is in check, but I'm very much still looking forward to this event. I'm hoping for some big reveals, man. Give us, as I said, I think in the last video, last couple videos, just give us something. What, even if it's just Final Fantasy 16, give us something to look forward to. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Let's update more Final Fantasy VII Remake content. Turn all my notifications. Follow me on Twitter, Dash, and YT. I'm a Discord. Links to my social networks are in the description and in the outro. Later, guys. Used to care what people thought, but now I care more, and nobody out here's got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending, depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that like old train. We in here like Rogaine or leave it like Cobain.